where to begin guys? My love for Star Wars, what I do on May the 4th, when I started watching Star Wars, or when I cosplayed as Queen Amadala. My love of Star Wars started out when I was just a baby in my mum's arms watching the sixth movie next to my dad. He really got me into sci-fi, watching Star Trek, Stargate, Star Trek, everything to do with Star Trek, Doctor Who, my dad got me into it. Thanks dad, I'm your little girl. Love you, miss you. Anyway, through Star Wars, I watched all the prequels, met best friends who loved Queen of Madala. And then I saw the costume! I had to be Queen Amidala! But I wasn't the right age or the size. I was very older. So I left it. And just kept watching all the Star Wars movies coming to the cinema on my birthday! Boxing Day. 12 years later, luckily Capital Sci-Fi was coming up and I was already into cosplay. And I had to wear something for the love of Star Wars. So I looked online and guess what came up on Amazon? Queen Amidala! I had to get it. No matter what, I was going to cosplay my childhood dream. So I got it and it came along. This was the headpiece. This was the dress. So this is a costume back in front. This looks like a dressing gown or a nightie at the back. This is the front. And at the very bottom, you can tell this doesn't stick, this bit is coming off. I've had this for two years, so I just sew it. You can just see the stitches. I still like it. I remember when I first got it, I was annoyed about this bit because in the Star Wars movie, it's balloons that are here and this is not really this is not spot on. I travelled all the way to Paisley, to Edinburgh, to Capital Sci-Fi, in the cosplay. And someone took a picture of me and I didn't like that. I wasn't at Capital Sci-Fi yet. I haven't seen my parents yet, who were at the con. They were in Edinburgh, so they came along anyway. And it was such a good con. I got to interview cosplayers, vlog about, uh, meet new people, got to see some Jedis, and then... Somebody call me princess. Oh, yeah. What's my name again? You're Queen Amidala. Thank you. <laughs> call me princess. Excuse me, I'm Queen Amidala. Do not call me princess. Anakin Skywalker will come for you and turn you to the dark side. Um, uh, moving on. Capital Sci-Fi was so good. It was a small venue, but it was my parents' first con. I got to interview cosplayers. I got to vlog. On my way home, I transformed myself out of Queen Madala on the train. Gladly nobody was watching me. <laughs> the makeup was easy to get off, but getting the makeup on was hard. It took me an hour, so I decided to maybe... So I decided to never cosplay as Queen Madala again. Well, <laughs> A year and a half later, Nescon came on, and Nescon was in Inverness, at the Inverness Ice Rink. Not a good venue. Nope. But I went anyway because they were doing Jedi training. I went down to my parents' house, slept over, and cosplayed as Queen of Madala. I had to! They were doing Star Wars training! There were stormtroopers! So much to do with Star Wars! Somebody bowed down to me, right in the middle of the con. It was worth it. First here, for those who've seen the film, thank you for being here, by the way. This guy who bowed down to me because I was Queen Amidala was the guy in the movie. And he was doing Jedi training, so it was so worth going to Nescon. But this is why it was a terrible venue. If you wanted to talk to somebody, they couldn't hear you. There was such an echo around the room. The band was loud on stage. The panels were ruining it for trainers to talk to cosplayers. If you wanted to talk to somebody, you had to go outside. That's what I did a lot for the vlog. That's what I did a lot for the podcast. 
I had to go outside and interview cosplayers. Neil, a lot of people from Elcon, a lot of cosplayers and some guests. I had to interview them outside. Thank God it was not raining. The next day I had a cosplay meetup with four people. We were all in red. There was Ladybug, there was a Sith Lord, there was Neil, someone else Star Wars, me. We all went around. Wasn't planned. I should have planned it other stuff. But I really just want to see the reaction of people in the Highlands and Islands because they still don't know what cosplay was. There was people asking us. Why are you dressing up? It's not Halloween yet. Look at them folks over there. Oh shut up. You can love Disney no matter what your age is. We can dress up no matter what. Plus it's Halloween soon. <clears throat> now. <sighs> what are you going to do in 2020? Speaking of 2020, that was the next time I cosplayed as Queen Madala. I did some TikToks on May the 4th. I went around Paisley as Queen Madala, and it worked out. I mean, I was alone, scared, prepared. May the force be with you during this lockdown. <clears throat> uh, it was May the 4th. I wanted a whole parade going down from the Cannon Galleries all the way down to St. Enoch's in Glasgow. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I really want to do something big from May the 4th in 2020. Jedi training, just go somewhere and do some Jedi skills, go around cosplaying as Queen Amidala, which I did alone. So yeah, I did what I wanted to do during May the 4th, just alone. So yeah guys, that's my love of Star Wars behind Queen Amidala. I'm still going to cosplay as her, even though I've been on an offer, I will still cosplay as her because she's my cosplay childhood dream. I wanted to cosplay as her, so I did 12 years later! 12 years later. Uh, I never forget who I was as a child. I'm kind of still a child, but you know, you're never too old to love Disney. You're never too old to cosplay, so cosplay wherever you want to. And keep cosplaying today during this lockdown. Or come back here and listen to a cosplay story where I talk about Chinamika, who is an anime character and a robot at the same time. I was really confused. Anyway, I'll tell you the whole story when you come back. Or when I come back. There's gonna be a lockdown too in Scotland. Maybe. Anyway guys, until next time, I'll try and make some good memories. Because it's the memories who make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. Bye! <laughs> so editing this, done this three times.